Hey guys, so you've all heard the big buzzword all around the world, blockchain technology. Banks are investing into it, big corporates, companies, trusts, all sorts of organizations are all investing in blockchain technology. Many of them building their own blockchains, many of them investing in blockchain, and you're probably wondering, what is blockchain or why is it even important? Why does it work? Why are they putting in their money in this technology known as blockchain technology? And in today, I'm going to show and explain to you why blockchain is important, how you can get involved in it, and why every single person in the world should be aware of blockchain and should be utilizing blockchain technology on a daily basis. Now, by definition, blockchain is essentially a digital ledger of transactions that is duplicated and distributed across the entire network of computer systems on a blockchain. So you might be wondering, what does that actually mean? Let me break it down for you. What this means is that a blockchain is a trust system. We all know the biggest problem we have in the monetary system today is that people are just not trustworthy. Somebody will say, this is all the money that I have. And at the end of the day, you'll see them spending more money that they didn't have on some luxurious goods. So somebody will say, I've given you everything that I've actually made. And when you go back and check, you find they've actually made more. Or somebody will say to you, I'm going to give you part of my money. And you find that that money doesn't even belong to them. They stole it. It is not theirs. And all these problems have accumulated in the world where a new system needed to be created to say, we need a system where trust can be created where trust is guaranteed and where trust can be the bedrock of that system. And that's what blockchain technology is. And I'm going to explain to you why it's a trust system. Because blockchain technology is a distributed ledger amongst every single person who is involved in that specific blockchain. What that means is that every single transaction that happens within that ecosystem is visible and it's transparent to every single person. Everyone is able to see who's holding what, at what time, and where they are or when they're holding it, based on what your blockchain is programmed to do. But everything is transparent in that specific blockchain. So when we're dealing with a Bitcoin blockchain, for example, we're able to know which Bitcoin wallet, basically, which account number that belongs to somebody who's holding Bitcoin, has how many Bitcoins inside of it. So no one can lie to you and say, I've got this many amount of Bitcoins. If you plug in their wallet address, you'll be able to see exactly what is going on. It's transparent. The second thing, it cannot be altered or it cannot actually be changed. And I want to show you this on the computer so we can all see where I'm getting this information from. Now, this information I've gotten from euromoney.com. And here they have a diagram teaching and explaining to us the properties of a distributed ledger. Basically, the properties of a blockchain. Number one, a blockchain is anonymous. And this is important because the identity of the participants in that blockchain needs to be anonymous, needs to be based on a specific number and letter sequence that they can use to participate in the blockchain. Because imagine, if everybody knew how much money you had in your bank account, that would put you at much security risk. So when you participate in a blockchain, you're anonymous. What you've got is a sequence of numbers, a sequence of letters in a Bitcoin blockchain. What we would say is you've got your wallet address. That's a sequence of numbers and letters. That, and that's like your account number where somebody can send you through Bitcoins. Number two, a blockchain is programmable. And what this means is that you're able to include intricate things like smart contracts. And what are smart contracts? These are contracts that are created on the web that are able to allow decisions, allow contracts, allow agreements to take place on a blockchain without both parties or with both parties being most transparent and most protected. It's secure. And why is it secure? This is point number three. The reason it's secure is because every single record on a blockchain is encrypted and every single record on a blockchain can never, ever, ever be re-raised. It's there forever. Everybody can see it. Everybody can see it and verify it in real time. It's distributed. So all network participants have a copy of this ledger. And that's the reason why we say it's completely transparent. Because if every single person has a copy of this blockchain, how do you change it? How do you hack it? 
How do you change? If you change something, it's no longer blockchain because it's not the copy that people have got. So every single person has got a copy. It's immutable. Any validated records are irreversible and cannot be changed. So once a transaction goes on a blockchain, it cannot be reversed, it cannot be changed. And that's why you'll hear somebody said, if somebody hacks your cryptocurrency account and they send you bitcoins, those bitcoins can never be sent back because it cannot be reversed. And the reason this is, is it stops people from doing transactions and reversing funds and trying to be fraudulent. It's time stamped meaning every single transaction is recorded on a block or in a block and every single block is timestamped. We know exactly when the transaction happened and lastly, it's unanimous. All network participants agree to the validity of each of the records. And this is all done through a process we all call Bitcoin mining. And I'm gonna do a video and if you guys want me to do a video to explain or teach you how Bitcoin mining actually works, the science behind it. I want you to drop right now in the comment section. We want to know the science of Bitcoin mining. Or just drop Bitcoin mining in the comment section so I'm able to make a video for you on the science of Bitcoin mining. And if I've got 20 people saying Bitcoin mining in the comment section, I'm going to create a video where I'm going to explain to you exactly how Bitcoin mining works. Now, I want us to go through an example of how a transaction would actually work on a blockchain. And this information comes from the WEF Forum, the World Economic Forum, and they have done a demonstration, and they've done an image that shows us how a blockchain transaction actually works. So let's say you want to send money or you want to send Bitcoin to your friend on a blockchain. You would log on to your cryptocurrency wallet address. You would put in their account number which is that sequence of numbers and letters, and you would put in the amount of Bitcoin that you want to send to them. Maybe you want to send to them 0.1 Bitcoin, and you would click on send. The moment you click on send, the blockchain gets to work. And the first thing that the blockchain does, obviously number one, as you can see on the diagram, is the, a, a person A wants to send money to person B. Number two, the first thing that does, as soon as you click send, that transaction is represented online as a block. So imagine you clicking send Bitcoin to somebody, that transaction is represented as a block and that block exists online. The next thing is that that block is broadcasted to every single party in that network. These are the people who we call Bitcoin miners. That's the video that I want to create for you soon to demystify and explain to you how Bitcoin mining works. And all these miners, what they do is they basically do a transaction or they basically validate and approve these transactions that are happening on the blockchain so that they make sure that the blockchain is functioning efficiently and effectually, effectively. Sorry. So what these guys are doing is they've got their computers. These are called ASIC miners when we talk about a Bitcoin blockchain, where these ASIC miners are all plugged into the Bitcoin network. So whenever you do a transaction on a Bitcoin network, imagine that online transaction. It goes over to these guys who are called Bitcoin miners, who are now plugged into this network. And what they do is that they solve mathematical equations. This is what we call Bitcoin mining. They solve these mathematical equations. And in this process, what they're doing is they're approving and validating that the transaction is real. So I usually say to people that basically what they're doing is what banks do when you send money to somebody. Banks will obviously have a system that checks, do you really have the money in your account? Does the money actually exist in your account? Are you able to actually do this transaction? Does the money you've got in your account actually match the money you're trying to send? You know, banks have got a system that does this validation in the background where we don't see it. The same way in Bitcoin, we've got a blockchain that does the exact same thing. So those in the network approve the transaction is valid. And number five, once that is done, so basically once that whole process is done, that block that online transaction that was created in the beginning when you sent through that Bitcoins to whoever you want to send them to, that block is then added to a chain of all the transactions that have ever been done in Bitcoin in the whole world. We have a record of every single transaction that has ever been done in a Bitcoin system in the whole entire world. From the first day that Bitcoin was created, every single transaction is recorded. Once that block is added onto the chain, that chain is a transparent record 
that everybody can see forever. And that chain adds up perfectly so because it shows us every single amount of Bitcoin out there that's floating in the world is on that chain and no one else can ever deceive you or say anything or say I've sent you Bitcoins when they haven't because you're able to check it on that blockchain. And after that process, step number six, you then receive the Bitcoins in your wallet address. And that's basically how the blockchain works. Now, ladies and gentlemen, the reason why people are so confident and excited about blockchain is because blockchain has brought us a solution where there are issues with the monetary system that exists today where those issues are not there in blockchain technology. Let me give you an example. We've all seen a fake note. Maybe it might be a fake dollar note a fake RAND note. And the biggest problem with that is that that means that there are criminals out there that are printing counterfeit notes and they're able to introduce them into the monetary system. With Bitcoin or with blockchain technology, you are not able to do that because blockchain technology, every single transaction is validated whenever it happens. But with fiat currency, when you give somebody money, they're able to dupe you, able to give you fake money. They're able to give you counterfeit money and you would never know if you're not a specialist at it because of these issues. Another big issue, ladies and gentlemen, is corruption. Blockchain solves the problem of corruption because you can never be corrupt because if you are corrupt, all we need to do is go back to the ledger, open it up and see exactly where you sent the money or how you moved these funds that you were able to move. Another classic thing that many people say is that blockchain gives them the ease of use, that they're able to send transactions all around the world without waiting for this government, without waiting for this official, without waiting for this bank to do something in the background that takes time. Literally, there are blockchains that take seconds to do transactions. And ladies and gentlemen, blockchain is not only used in Bitcoin. You are able to create a blockchain for anything. I've heard of and I've seen blockchains in advertising. I've seen blockchains in farming. I've seen blockchains in banking. I've seen blockchains that have been created for different industries that work in the same way. Remember, the fundamental basis of blockchain is trust and truth. And this is why it is so important for each and every person to adopt blockchain technology. Because the more we adopt blockchain technology, the more we institute trust and truth in the world. And the more we er er eradicate corruption and every other issue that we've experienced or we've seen with the monetary system that exists. If you've enjoyed this video, kindly check out my next video where I show you how you can actually get involved in cryptocurrencies.